Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's talk about the DC current meter. When you want to measure the current of a branch or the current of a circuit, you must insert the current meter right into the circuit. So that means that you probably will be affecting the circuit and again you want to try and affect it as least as possible. Let's assume that for a moment that the current meter is not in the circuit. The load resistor in the circuit is 1000 ohms, the source is 20 volts, the initial current before you put the current meter into the circuit would be equal to the voltage from the source divided by the load resistor. In this case, that would be 0.02 amps. What happens when you now insert the current meter? Well, the current meter is kind of like a voltmeter. It's made out of a galvanometer, just the same as before. But instead of having the resistor in series, you now have the resistor in parallel. The reason is that since you're trying to measure current and the current could be large, you don't want to send too much current through the galvanometer because it would destroy the galvanometer. It can only handle a certain amount of current. It's typically not very much in the order of milliamps or even microamps, typically maybe like 50 or 100 microamps. So what you want to do instead is have a very, very small resistor in, in parallel. We call that the shunt resistor, which will draw the vast majority of the current running through the meter. You want that to be a very small number. You want the resistance of the shunt resistor to be much smaller than the resistance of the galvanometer, which in itself is already small. You just want it to be smaller, so most of the current will go through here. If that then is a very small resistor, then when you try to figure out the current of the circuit with the shunt resistor there, if this is just a fraction of an ohm, let's say it's equal to a 0 0.1 ohm, then you can see that the current through the resistor, 20 volts, divided by 1000.1. Now you can see that the current is equal to, no, let me try that again, 20 divided by 1000.1 equals, now we have a current of 0.019998 amps. You can see that the current through the circuit is virtually identical to the current that was there before the current meter was attached. And so you can see that as long as you keep the shunt resistor very, very small so that all the current going through it, or most of the current going through the meter will go through the shunt resistor to protect the galvanometer, and it's small enough so that it doesn't affect the circuit, then you have a current meter that you can use in a circuit like this. Later, in a later video, we'll show you how to, how to find a current meter that can adapt to the limitations of the galvanometer so that it allows you to measure different kinds of currents. But that's for the next video when it comes up.